when we would do improvements, a lot of times it was you go to class and then you were directed by the plant manager to go out and just do stuff, make an improvement somewhere. And what that looked like was a bunch of us, well-intentioned people doing stuff. We'd say we made an improvement and maybe we measured an improvement, but the challenge was we didn't really know if anything really improved in our business. Were customers getting what they needed? Were we able to invest more capital? Were we retaining talent? Were we developing talent? And then if I think about my career progressing, I got in a position where I could be a supervisor. I say, well, I can connect these lines somewhat and I'll focus on one line. I'll make that really, really awesome. And as my career progressed, I got to the opportunity to say, well, I have an entire facility. Now I can work on Kaizen at a higher level and apply this across the framework of the organization. But really that was still limited thinking because of where I needed to go was this idea of the Cube Kaizen, which is really where I ground you today see a rocket ship there. And the Calvin mentioned this is in his book and it's mentioned quite a bit throughout the media that we may all read. When you go back to the space race, GFK took the 50, 60 disparate goals and just said, by the end of the decade, get to the moon. And as Calvin and I were preparing right before we came on, this was a really important conversation for GFK and the space race as a, really as a humanity. By giving us a clear focus, we were able to go from here to there because everybody was aligned toward the same goal.